Hey there, YouTubers. Happy Friday, and welcome to the Outdoor Hub News Blast for the week of May 9th, 2014. Here are the five things you need to know about what happened this week in the outdoors. The Boone and Crockett Club has officially announced their recognition of a new world record for the largest hunter-taking grizzly bear. The Bruin was harvested by Larry Fitzgerald in May of last year during a hunt near Fairbanks, Alaska. The bear's skull was officially scored at 27 and 6 16 For comparison, the current world record is a skull found in 1976 that scored 27 and 13 16 a commercial fishing crew trawling off the Florida coast last month got quite the surprise when their net brought in an 18-foot-long goblin shark. The strange-looking fish are rarely observed in the wild, and Captain Carl Moore's catch is only the second goblin shark that has ever been caught in the Gulf of Mexico. After securing the shark's tail to a length of rope, Moore's crew was able to safely return the beast to the water. Dallas Safari Club has shared an exclusive and exhilarating story of a leopard hunt gone wrong with Outdoor Hub. Larry Booker, a life member of the club, was on safari in Namibia when he sought to help out a local village with a big cat problem. After initially wounding the offending leopard, the following day's tracking nearly turned fatal for the pursuing hunters when the cornered animal tried to take a chunk of Booker's shoulder with him. In a strange twist, the resulting surgery ended up uncovering a potentially deadly medical condition that would have gone undetected if not for the attack. We've got two video picks for you this week as there are two cool clips making the rounds that we just couldn't help but share. The first is a video of a super cool working replica of a pulse rifle from the 1986 movie Aliens. The gun is an amalgamation of a select fire M11 9mm submachine gun and a cut up Remington 870 shotgun. Our second pick is a backyard ballistics experiment. Everyone knows to be safe when handling live ammunition, but just how easy is it to set off a 22 round by tossing it? The host of the Demolition Ranch YouTube channel took it upon himself to answer that question, loading a 22 in a straw and giving it a good chuck. Check out the results of his experiment by watching the video. That's all for this week. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and Daily Email Newswire to get everything exciting in the outdoors delivered to you as it happens.